Good morning to everyone out there in our community who is listening to our video today and welcome to the NBA Fantasy Baller DFS Edition podcast brought to you by researchfantasy.com where we will be bringing you our top three plays as of 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the NBA slate on March 12th, 2017. A quick recap of last night. We had three plays that we really loved. One didn't come through, one came through average, and one absolutely exploded. So I hope you had a lot of him in your lineup. DeMar DeRozan totaled about 25 fantasy points in what ended up being a blowout. Not much we can do about that. We saw that happen the night before with Kemba Walker where the minutes just weren't there. And guys, we've said this again and again and again. Minutes equal production in like literally every sport you play. Minutes, touches, things like that. You need minutes to have touches. You need touches to have fantasy points. There's a strong correlation there. Ricky Rubio came through with about 33 to 35 fantasy points. So he was not killer. Uh, If you were getting him just under the 35 Uh, I'm sorry, the 7K mark on FanDuel, he hit fine. The 7-1 on DraftKings was close. Biggest thing missing was for a point guard that rebounds extremely well, he had no rebounds. For a point guard that gets a lot of steals, he had no steals. And you'll have that. Some nights it's feast, some nights it's famine. This was a little bit of both. I mean, he had a feast, he had 22 points, which is much more than he normally averages. But ultimately, he just didn't come through like we wanted him to. Finally, Anthony Davis was our top play of the night. And I expressed some concern with Boogie Cousins. But Boogie just doesn't look right thus far in New Orleans. He's dealing with foul trouble far more often than he was in Sacramento. This led to Anthony Davis just posing an absolutely monstrous line of 80-plus fantasy points. Depending on the side, it was 77, I think, on FanDuel, 82 and a quarter on DraftKings, so if you had exposure to him, congratulations. Hopefully we can find somebody tonight that does just as well. Let's start things off with Hassan Whiteside, center for the for the Miami Heat, 14-3 fantasy draft, 8,500 FanDuel, 7,800 DraftKings. He's going to be going up against the Indiana Pacers tonight. This matchup, I feel like, just took place a couple of days ago. And uh, it didn't, so it's in my mind. The last time they played, though, he had a 22-17 stat line put up over 45 fantasy points on DraftKings. He's priced to the point where he needs less than 40 to hit value on that site. Does need about 43.5, 42.5 on FanDuel. I think it's totally possible. Adding to this, Goran Dragic does have an issue with his eye um he missed most of the game last night so Hassan Whiteside could see increased usage in a good matchup Miles Turner is coming along but the defensive end of things is not exactly his strong suit at this point remember blocking shots does not equate to being able to stop other shots coming into the basket I know a lot of people try to build the concept that you know Joel Embiid is a great defender. Okay, he blocks a lot of shots, but when the opposing team still puts up a ridiculous amount of fantasy points at that position and in total, probably not that great of a defender if you want to take all things to be considered. So I like Hassan Whiteside tonight, especially on DraftKings. I think his price is too good to be true. Let's move on to a guy in Damian Lillard, point guard, Portland Trail Blazers up against one of my favorite targets for point guards, the Phoenix Suns. He's 16-6 on Fantasy Draft, 9K FanDuel, 9K DraftKings. Yeah, he just went to an overtime game last night, I believe, if I'm not uh, going crazy with the Wizards. I know he did. I, but the thing is, he dealt with a lot of foul trouble, and he was not seeing the amount of minutes that the rest of his team did. So he only finished with 36 minutes. Um, was able to go over the fantasy point mark. The reason I like him here is because the matchup, as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, has just been golden for point guards against Phoenix. So I feel like it's a liability if we don't have some exposure to him. I think people in general, with some pretty good options at the position uh, today, where you could pivot a little bit higher to Kyrie Irving or 
foolishly pivot a little bit lower to Eric Bledsoe. That's my opinion. Um, or even drop down further to D'Angelo Russell. I think you'll see a little bit lower ownership. Maybe people think this Houston-Cleveland game is the way to go and they want to work much more of a stack situation with LeBron and Harden. And you might be able to get Lillard at a price where, or an exposure uh, in terms of ownership where every move he makes shoots you up the leaderboard even faster. So he's set definitely somewhat on my radar tonight. Was close to being my... Uh, top overall play, but I feel like his price is a little bit out there for what's being put together despite the terrific matchup. I am going to kind of... I'm, there were two guys I really liked. Um, both are from the uh, Knicks, and they're playing the Nets, so obviously you're going to want to have some exposure to the Knicks and the Nets. I wanted to go with Carmelo Anthony because 7600 on both sites is just way too cheap, and our, our projection system... Uh, which I'll tell you who else does well in that um, because that has been really strong. Um, but I like Chris Stapp's 13K fantasy draft, 6,400 FanDuel, 6,900 DraftKings. This is a game to me that all day says 45 fantasy points for Chris Stapps. He's priced to where you need less than 35, and any time that occurs, you have to take uh, the discrepancy there. I, I could see... Carmelo having a 40-point game. Really, I could see both of them having 40-point games. But for where it falls tonight, I think you're probably best suited to have a good amount of Chris Stapps in your lineup. Here are some other guys who really turn out well in our model uh, in terms of big-time dollar plays or at least over 5,500. We've got Julius Randle, Dion Waiters, LeBron James, Brooke Lopez, D'Angelo Russell... Allen Williams, James Johnson, Damian Lillard, Jeff Teague, Joseph Nurkic, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony. So that pretty much wraps up who our system likes. There's always a lot of tweaking that I do in terms of the minutes projections. And these are available if you sign up to our mailing list. And uh, yeah, I'll include the link and I pretty much tweak them all day and you can export them into whatever you use to build your lineups that will wrap it up today make sure to subscribe to our videos to hear all of our lineup advice make sure to sign up for our mailing list at researchfantasy.com make sure to like us on facebook follow us at twitter and research and win and join us again tomorrow